Hello everyone, this is Chris Eck, and I am going to be streaming some PvP versus Side Strafe here in a couple of minutes. So, have fun, hang out, and chat away. We've decided to go all stock, just to keep things fair. Hmm. We're playing on big lock. Cool. I'm going to click ready. You take your time and just uh, let me know when you're ready to rock and roll. Roger that. I'm just trying to. Think. <laughs> Fair ish, yeah. Trying to think what would suit my play style with just what has this one got on it? Yeah, these uh, all these stock lances were designed by the uh, the guy that designed the combat game, so he's uh, they're pretty solid lances, and he that's what he's forcing himself to use in the tournament. Okay. For round two. I almost like the idea of this chat. Just because it's... <laughs> what is on this one? Is there a way to see... Uh, if, you look, if you're looking at the lands... Oh, wait. I think I found it. Never mind. I was going to see how they see the loadouts specifically. I must swap out some pilots real quick. Yes, yeah, so what has she got? There we go. That's good. Hmm. Four succession war. Yeah, I want that too. <laughs> Chat's already asking for Battletech 2 and they want to kickstart it now. No. Oh, we got to get this one out the door. I know there's already so much gameplay here, one thing at a time. Yeah. <clears throat> I always tell people like there's so much content here. All I I'm usually like a like an optimization guy. I'm just like let them smooth it out, let yeah. the game come out. Mm-hmm. That's all I get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of the things that uh, that I tried to do for the project is force us to data drive it whenever possible. So pretty much the entire game logic is uh is all in plain text JSON files, so 
people are going to mod the teetotal heck out of this game. Yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of people talking about that. All right, I think I'm ready. I have an idea based around this this, this lance, but we'll see if it works. Cool, man. Good luck and have fun. To you as well. I'll be talking about my strategy and what I'm doing and stuff like that. So you don't have to do that yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be too distracted. I don't even remember. I think the last time I played turn-based anything with anybody was probably Blood Bowl. Oh, Blood Bowl. Love Blood Bowl. <laughs> well, ages ago. Yeah. Cool. So, I'm loaded in. How about you? Yep. Sweet. All right. It's been a while since I've seen this map. So I like to move my Moving to position. heavy max first What's when I can. Right here. Because sometimes the lights will go out and find a little too much and On my way. end interleaved a little too there early. I have noticed that. Yeah, I think Showboat is the same as the Glitch Voice Pilot. I don't know if I've played this map. I'm trying to think. I don't think I have. But. This was like one of the first PvP maps, so we got a lot of a lot of play on it. Nice. So there's fury in this. Fury is different than morale. Yeah, one of the differences here is it takes the full fury bar, and the other difference is it uh, you don't gain it for doing good things. You gain it for bad things happening to you. So, like, if you oh. lose a mech, you start gaining fury. It's kind of a, a catch-up mechanic. Ah, okay. Someone asked if I voice acted any pilots. I, I recorded some lines, but I did not make the cut. Oh, were there like staff tryouts and stuff? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our lead was actually really good, but he didn't have enough time to, to finish out all the hundreds of voice lines for his character. He was like a crazy Murdoch guy. <laughs> So I'm rushing my lights up onto the island just to keep an eye on things and bringing my assault over on my left, side strafes right, just to maybe get a clear line of fire to some things. But he's slow, so it probably won't happen. Mm. <laughs> 
Not you, my my assault mech. <laughs> well, it, it would have also been true for <laughs> in my case. You know, did I not have... my lights to get too far ahead of my medium so gotta start jumping them caddy corner certainly yeah we talk a lot about voiceover in the in the chat I did a few things for MWO and Oh, nice. That's always it's always fun. It's just a ton of fun to do it. You get I got carried away in a couple of things that I did. It's <laughs> like here's some extra things. You guys can do whatever you want with that. Got just... it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I don't have voice lines, but I do have a portrait. Nice. terrain. Donkey OK asks if custom unit crests are loadable for game and PvP. The custom crest was uh, at a specific tier of backer, so you can't. Uh, so for it to be shared and for the other guy to see your crest, it actually has to be in the game. Otherwise, he doesn't have that graphic. Uh, let's see what else. And. But you can't. You might be able to mod the game and, and have a custom graphic for you to select for yourself, so you can see it. Where are you at, man? I hear ya. <laughs> are you expecting a a middle fight? <laughs> what can I do for ya? I was expecting to see you at least on sensors. Developed a new stealth technology. Uh oh. Let's see. Let's just move instead of sprinting. Location confirmed. Well, I better send my scouts out to find you. Waiting for orders. Uh huh. All right, I don't know where the hell you are. Yeah, MWO ECM. I don't have my Raven yet. Oh, Raven. Can't wait for that. Let's see. So I'm guessing he has to be over here because I'm running out of map.
Hmm. Let's see if I go here. So how long have you been a streamer? Started out with YouTube probably over eight years at this point, but streaming was a little bit newer. Not not that long, really. A couple of years. Nice. Bingo. Well, we got our first blip. do just yet I don't think nope <laughs> so someone asked in the other chat why not put the Raven into the game without ECM um, I don't think I'm allowed to answer theory craft questions about what we're doing or not doing or why didn't we do something or why did we do something so just can't answer that because I don't know <laughs> with infinite time and money though I'm sure we'd put everything in Raven in general though is wrong time frame right it's like too early for it or something that's what my chat's always been telling me yeah th they actually started doing some uh, some prototyping uh, I think it was a, a Lao mech and they started doing some prototyping around this time so you might see some field test or something out here in the periphery alright light mechs they're kind of out of position I'll go ahead and reserve them down Holding for tactical advantage. Manus Manus1 asks uh, my role what does a tools developer do well, I do things like work on the map editor, work on the event editor, I streamlighten the uh, the asset pipeline. Basically, my job is to make everybody else's job in the studio easier. So, when people look at the game and they say, well, what did you do? I'm like, not a whole lot <laughs> directly related to the game, but I made the tools that let the rest of the crew make the game. Make their lives a lot easier, hopefully, right? Yes, sir. Because if I can make them get faster durations or, or do things more intuitively, then just overall the game will just get better and more content. And Donkey okay. says, Side Strafe has confirmed purchases for hundreds of on-the-fence viewers by streaming. So thank you for that, Side Strafe. It's my pleasure. I mean, it's worth it. Yeah. It's uh, For me, it's always been, because I interviewed Mitch a long time ago, and I always remember something he said about mechs falling out of fashion. And it's true, <laughs> you know, for even anime and, and whatnot, mech stuff hasn't been all that, you know, popular. And I think that a lot of people would get into it if they were a little bit more educated about it and could see that it's not as difficult as it looks, you know, dealing with mech labs and things like that. There's mm -hmm. that intimidation factor. Yeah. So it's been nice getting people that might not necessarily be Battletech fans into it. 
Let's see here. So he just kind of pulled back. What can I do for you? So now we're in interleaved again. So I'm gonna move this guy up. Got a sensor trace. Let's see. I don't want to not give away my position, so I'm trying to look at his blip and my little sensor ring. You can see it out there. Piece of cake. And I'm thinking the rest of his guys are probably up in there, maybe. Affirmative. And it's and it's good that you. I've seen. I saw your video versus. You know, Carlos, and it, it's nice that you're also trying to educate people just in terms of you know how to play the game. Oh yeah, the thought process. Yeah, the uh, the the game is like pretty complex and has uh, has lots of subtleties to the combat. So I, I wrote a combat guide, and it's actually posted up on Steam. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they were talking about that today, sharing it. Right. I got to check it out myself. Uh, somebody asked if the map editor will be made available for modding. Well, the map editor is built into Unity itself because we wanted the, all the designers and stuff to work in Unity. So unfortunately, we can't ship with the map editor unless we ship with the entire code base. How might I help? Because uh, it uses a lot of built-in Unity tools and things like that. I'm going to reserve my lights down. Abahala asks, how long do PvP matches last? Probably about 45 minutes to an hour. Just depending. Sometimes shorter if you get a lucky AC-20 shot in the first round. <laughs> Sensor showing a new hostile. I've been sensor locked. No! Hello, hello, hello. That's a big mech you got there. <laughs> yeah, he's a big boy. Yeah. I actually don't really like, uh, like, in in the olden days, the bigger the mech, just the better it was. But in our game, uh, there's something to be said about lower initiative phases. So, I'm trying to figure that out. Like, that's the thing we've been talking about in in terms of like people have been asking me. You know, is this a game where you're just going to forget about lights and mediums? And I, I keep saying I hope not. And I'm trying to see if there's a way to to have them be viable based on initiative. Yeah, I haven't uh, I haven't made it as far as you in the campaign, so I don't know if lights are are useless in the late game or not. To be honest, um, but I like I'm still. I'm still using them in the in the mid game for sure. Oh, still my turn. No, enemy turn. out of position over here so I'm gonna jump a little further out of position so I can get on the ground and start sprinting over that way <laughs> Let's see how bad that is he's a stalker he's fine yeah, I imagine he'll be hanging out for a while. Yeah, the problem I found with assaults is uh, a lot of times the pilot inside them will get killed well before the <laughs> the mech actually does. So if you can knock them down a whole bunch, then yeah, knocking things down has become a, a salvage strategy of mine. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> 
But sometimes I get a little too carried away, and there will be missions where it's like, you know, I could kill these guys, but I start playing with my food. I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, and, then, and then you screw yourself because somebody else takes advantage of the fact that you're not killing the other. Threat. Oh, well, if you're not going to kill me, how about, bam, one of those. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna reserve this Malaska down reserve here. Reserve an action. Waiting for the shot. Hmm. So I'm reserving my medium down since he hasn't seen him yet. So when his assault acts, my medium will be able to charge up a little bit closer without getting. Man, that thing has a lot of weapons. Jeez. Oh, the stalker? Yeah, he's ridiculous. Holy smokes. I think a hex is 24 meters. Somebody asked in chat. I think tabletop it was 30 meters. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Laser, a missile, and an auto cannon. What you got an Orion back there? I don't know what that is right now. Waiting for order. All right, charging up with my double time. Let's go. Kintaro. Standing by. Okay. Ooh, I got a direct line of fire now. I'm gonna back up my uh, my assault mech to hopefully keep him alive for a little bit longer. Ooh, I got plenty of heat to spare too. <laughs> yeah, he's just sitting pretty in that water. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. How do I feel about escort missions? I don't think anybody likes escort missions in any video game, but uh, everybody keeps making them. Oops, nope. So I'm charging my Kentaro up the middle here to hopefully get closer, but uh, he's kind of all by himself, so side straight. Hello. Hello. <laughs> that, that may not be good for me. <laughs> Yay, a fire starter. I know what the chat will want to have happen. <laughs> yes, Commander. Yes, sir. I'm not really that good with lights because I haven't had one in a while since... Right. Most of I've kind of upgraded to all heavy lance and from what I've played so far and so my light expertise is, is where I need that's where I need help. That's where I need work. Good cool. Work. Well getting lots of evasive pips is good. Um I am actually going to sensor lock you to get rid of two of your evasive pips because right now my hit chance is like thirty five percent, so that's not gonna do anything. Let's see here. I don't have sensor lock with that. I'm not gonna. I could just try to DFA him. <laughs> That'd be funny. Maybe I'll do that next round. Roger that. Standing by. Okie dokie. Let me think. Yeah, having a little more control on the escort mission would make it better, but then we also wouldn't be done by now. <laughs> I 
another cool thing about the JSON files is all of the AI variables and behaviors are are coded into the data too so I think people tweak the heck out of that Abahala asks us, asks if you can change the weight of weapons, armor, heat sinks, everything. Yep, but if your files don't match with the uh, with like a multiplayer opponent, then you can't play because the the multiplayer network code says I think a medium laser does five damage, and yours says it does ten thousand damage, so it causes a desync. Oh, I don't have range for that, but all I have is this, so might as well give it a shot. Mm. Holy cow, that sounds like a lot. I had a bunch of evasive pips. So. Yeah, that's what I was, I was trying to get into Reporting. some sort of sensor range, but I didn't have it. I mean, I had other Commander. options too, but I was like, mm. Don't want to underestimate lights. Oh, uh, lights? A generous serious business. He's got four mediums and an SRM4 by by default. I can only get one evasive pip when I'm in here. I'm gonna do it anyways. On the move. See what we got. A Zeus. I think my Kentaro's gonna have to brace so he doesn't get the crap kicked out of him. <laughs> Scratch. Um. Yeah, I've got a stalker here way in the back. I don't think you can see him anymore unless he uses the sensor lock. Do I have... no. Okay. Did I work on any other HPS games? Hold on a second, I gotta focus on this. Light damage, Commander. Nope, I was actually in Tennessee before I moved up to Seattle to join Hairbrain Schemes for Battletech. So, I've been here for a couple of years now. How might I How's that for a change of scenery? Uh, it's, it's a lot greener up here than down there. <laughs> it's not like it was brown or anything. It's just there's trees always in, in bloom and everything. It's really, it's really cool. Let's yeah, it's see. nice out there. I've got a chance to do a DFA here, and I think that'd be funny. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And hopefully I'm sure the chat would love it. <laughs> hopefully that'll knock his Jenner into... I'll, I'll zoom in just to give them a better... Blam! And there it is. <laughs> Not quite enough to knock him into unsteading. We still have a somebody I don't know about. It's back there. Oh, I only dropped with three. No, <laughs> no we got the full lance checkbox. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
I've been watching streams mm -hmm. of people playing it for the first time going in, and I've never seen so many people going bankrupt <laughs> to, the, to, to the point where, and you know, it's learning curve. Mm -hmm. It's tough, but because they can't afford to fix their fourth mech, they, they're jumping with three. Yeah. And I feel so bad for them. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta play it safe early on. Yeah, once you once you learn the the core mechanics of the game and stuff, you can start uh, playing it a little bit riskier and start forcing your forcing taking on uh, harder contracts and stuff like that. Just make sure you have a little nest egg so you can bounce back if you get your butt handed to you. The problem with you, you've got all right, you got SRMs on that thing. Yeah, the Kentaro is an SRM boat. Yeah. I wonder if that provides... I don't want to get near there. Now that gives me a... Yeah, screw it. <laughs> I'm just trying to pick my... I'm like, like always doing the movement angles. Like if I go here, this does this. But then if I go here, this does this. Mm -hmm. Stonk. Damage is light. I wonder if that gave me elevation being on that little... What determines elevation? How high up do you have to be to get, actually get an elevation bonus? I think it's a difference of about 20 meters, so not much. So if you're up about a, a mech height or two, then I think that would probably do it. Hmm. We're doing multiplayer, guys. I can't see that from there, but on the move. All right, let's give that a shot. Roger that. LRMs have a really long range, so I'm gonna try to. Pepper the Jenner. Oh, ooh, there we go. <laughs> well things considered I mean let's see I can't most I can do is a movement with this guy what is Like I have two ideas. <laughs> Problem is you have, yeah, you got too much. That's not gonna do anything. So, yeah, I think at this point it's gonna be a little bit of desperation. <laughs> Seventy percent. Let's see how bad my legs are looking. Oh, I forgot the stock uh, fire starter doesn't have a whole lot of leg armor. 
So DFAs are kind of risky. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't good. Well, there you have I was, it. I mean, you had so much. I was like, if I go behind him, no, he's got a vision to, to pull off a shot in the back. But then. Yes, Commander. I figure we're just going to go down swinging on that one. <laughs> All right. Um. See, I actually have Ace Pilot in this guy, so I can shoot you and then run away. Target acquired, locked in. I always forget about Ace Pilot. Oh. Target's taking a critical hit. Yeah, I really like the skills that mess with uh, turn order and just the, the game mechanic of moving after firing. So if I can jump over here, then he probably can't see me anymore. And Roger. I'll be safe for a turn. I hope. Alright. Now this poor Jenner that's... Good to go. I'm guessing this is probably going to be the end of that. I uh, think... Let's see, I just got to hit with one of my medium lasers in the leg. I am going to save... Nah. I'm going to make sure. This should be good! Did you see that? Did you see it? And now he doesn't have sensors over here, so he can't can't do a, a counter strike unless he moves some guys over. I think prone mechs have a reduced vision radius, but they can still spot. I don't think Ace Pilot works after melee attacks. Because that'd be kind of crazy. Run up and punch somebody this round, and then punch them again, and then fly away. Feel free to run strategies by me, and I'll try to help out. Yeah, I'm just playing with the movement areas to see what my range is on things. Right on. I still don't know what what you have back there. Some people are watching both streams at the same time. Yeah. Somebody's got over 200 hours of watching streams since Side Strafe started. <laughs> They've got a lock on me. Uh oh. Yeah, sensor locking the Jenner is a good move, especially with your LRMs. Um knocking off a couple of evasive pips and then focusing him down might be yes, might on. be solid. I'm going to try to move my 
Kentaro up. But I'm going to reserve right now so I can use his brace if you decide to shoot at him instead. Percentages are still rough. Mm-hmm. If you can, great. if you can get a direct line of fire instead of indirect fire, then that'll improve your chances to hit somebody by a significant amount. Yeah, that's so why I'm trying to find a few things here. I'm drinking some tea and some water. Somebody asked. <laughs> Just gonna reserve down again. Hold him for the right opportunity. Nothing I can do about that Jenner. He's got decent armor though for a light mech. But with just one evasive pip, that's uh that's gonna be a problem. far you can move that. I'm trying to think of how far that Kentaro can move after. And I know the water slows you down. but Yeah, it does. I can get... I can't melee that guy for sure. Um, I'm just trying to put myself in a way to do a couple different things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't just turn your back to me to get the, uh, to get the Jenner shot. <laughs> Not exactly, but... Yeah. Oh. Half the weapons gone. Reporting. Structural damage. Let's see, where am I going Ready here? I gotta get eyes on you guys to see what the heck you are. Let's see what do I got? Trebuchet, trebuchet. Oh my God! All right, that's gonna be missile heavy. Do I take the shot now or do I? I think with all those missiles, I have to brace because I can't do much to this Zeus. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> aye, aye. Super Dave, yeah, roger that. Uh, Torvalis. Don't know, dude. The stalker. That that's the thing, is like at the end of the day it's like, well, there's still a stalker out there. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm gonna split some fire to eat a little bit of evasion pips and bypass the trebuchet's uh, cover with a breaching shot. Ooh, head hit. Oh, that's weird. 
It went up, it went up on yours before I saw it. Gosh, that stalker is just gonna be the end of me. <laughs> Reporting. Hey, I still have so many. Waiting for orders. So since my Jenner is, um, all his evasion pips are gone, everything, uh, I have to move him early in the turn, otherwise he's just going to get finished off. My left side is hurt, my right side is hurt. I gotta show my left side to him though, because if he hits my right side, I'll probably die. I, I have a chance of losing that leg and then he's toast. Trying to get in the minimum range of his LRM, so he has tougher shots for me to hit me. Holding for an advantage. <sighs> Abahala asks, "Is it true I've never lost a PVP match? I was undefeated in the first tournament, and I'm undefeated in this tournament." So fragile hard ass. Uh, I'm giving my left side, which is already damaged, but my right side, my leg might get blown up. So it's a tough call which one you want to do. If the Jenner gets leg, though, he he is dead. <laughs> These are all tough shots because. All, I mean, you have so much evasion and cover, and so I'm just kind of. That's how you keep lights alive. You have to you have to move them as soon as they're out of, as soon as they're low on evasion pips. You gotta move them. I was hoping for somehow that I'd get a leg on that guy. But. You split in the fire, nice. That's a good yeah. tactic to chip away at those evasive pips. Oh, I figured your fire starter's legs are so bad that maybe I could have a chance, but... Yes, they are. Let's see. Can I get close enough? No. How about... Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> That's never what you want to hear your opponent say. <laughs> I'm just barely in range with some flamers. What? From <laughs> I didn't realize they had that range. Yeah, Thought they, they jump far. Ooh, and another head hit. Huh? And a head hit, jeez. I can't remember if that was the same trebuchet or not. I've lost track at this point. Nope, it wasn't. It's a different trebuchet. I was playing one of the story scenarios today, mm -hmm. and the enemy, the AI had a fire starter. My chat was rooting for the fire starter. <laughs> That's not nice. They, they were like, yeah, get him, yeah, fire starter. I'm like, thanks, <laughs> guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> I guess that's the price you pay too. for so many, for so many <laughs> followers. <laughs> After a certain point, you start getting haters. Oh, well, streaming is a blood sport. <laughs> They're not there to see you succeed. It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> well, the per there's a percentage that are. Yeah, 
to force the rest that <laughs> want pain and suffering. Actually, I didn't realize it was my turn. <laughs> I think I saw one of my friends join chat back from the olden days. Hey, Thunderer! my old tabletop gaming buddy. Keep hoping for a lucky leg. <laughs> Just not happening. You can see daylight through my armor. All right, let's see what I can do with this Kentaro now. Not enough. All right. I'm gonna reserve him down because I don't want to lose my braced before his Zeus gets to go. I need to remind you of your fury meter. Yeah, I just read it in the chat. I keep forgetting about it. Yeah. It's red. I'm not used to it being red. Mm -hmm. Problem is, the position I need to be in to deal with those threats opens me up to the other threats. Yeah, I've kind of, I kind of outflanked you now. Yeah, it's hard. To My original strat was about controlling some high ground, but. Kind of got lured off to the other way. My mistake began with the Jenner, pretty much. Yeah, getting the Jenner really far out of position where your other mechs couldn't help out. A rough move. Mm. I just don't know. How far you can get with all that reserving. situation <laughs> let's see. I'm trying to find like all these positions I'm like almost touching every dot to figure out let's see if I go here all right that puts me I need to almost I think no matter what I do it kind of exposes me hey, you've got a couple options I think you can either try to back up over towards your trebuchets and try and finish off one of the lights or you can commit and go like super far forward and try and turn your back away from me. Uh, I think the no, I think stalker I... would be able to still get you though, unless you... Well, that's why I've been kind of going away from you is because of the stalker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been just avoiding his shots as much as possible. I think in terms of choices... We're going to go with this play. Even though it opens me up to some problems on that side. Let's 
let's see. Yeah, I think that was a pretty good move. Probably should have stayed in the trees though for a little bit of extra cover. Yeah, I was trying to figure out an angle though to be able to do what I'm about to do. Right on. Uh, let's see. If I do uh, 44. Well. That'll give me the breach on that, I guess. Nice. Those gonna have a mech left legs. Oh, and that was a like miss. That. Sweet. Whew. <laughs> Those legs won't go down. Yeah, when you're facing the front, the legs are... Uh, <laughs> They're still on the hit table, but uh, from the sides, you'll hit them a little bit more often. So that's why I'm trying to make sure that my front is staying facing you. I can do. All right. It's like uh, it's not taking any hits. All right. Well, this is where your reserving pays off. Yeah, I hope so. Kylani, appreciate the sub. Position confirmed. Yeah, let's try to go for him. Yeah, I can't get a clear shot, really. Yeah, that mountain has been, uh, I have a little mountain that's in my way. Yeah, I've been trying to abuse that little mound. Yeah, or good whatever. Call. <laughs> I was like, okay, maybe he won't have a large laser through that. I can't. Yeah, and uh, the other guy's out outside the range of my large laser, so because the stalker's so slow, and since he's in water, he's even slower. But I do still have two LRM tens coming your way. Yeah, that's probably not gonna. Critical hits. Yes, Commander. All right, my fire starter survived for another turn. Let's go try to melee a trebuchet. As you wish. Trying to make it so he has a tough time splitting the fire because my two lights are in such disrepair right now that he probably could take out two at once. <laughs> Try to hit that right torso because that'll knock out several weapons.
<laughs> Lord of Riva is uh, Lord of Riva is talking about uh, how awesome the UI is. So I'll make sure and pass that along to Eric. Armor breach, internal damage. BattleTech is a very information dense game, so to. Good to go. So to be able to present it in such a way that everything still kind of makes sense is really cool. Yeah, no, the UI has been absolutely fine. I've never had any. It's pretty uh, accessible and intuitive. Moving to position. Oh, this, this is not going to be fun. <laughs> I'm going to overheat. I'm going to take that guy off so I don't. Engaging target. Hot file eliminated. Explain those pips around a mech. Yeah, sure. These little guys right here, the little chevrons, are evasive pips. Each one of those is worth... Uh, a penalty to hit you. Uh, it kind of signifies from tabletop you would put a movement modifier behind your guy every time you moved a unit. Can I somehow? No, I can't do that. Oh. Can I? I got you, chicken snacks. Yeah, that's how many of your weapons are in range. Yeah, the golden ones that surround the. Uh, around the target or are they red I forgot I shaved my head for better connection to the ner to the neural helmet. Yeah, that's what I did. You have an advantage. <laughs> yeah, the no, actually, the reason why I shave my head is because if I don't, it grows out into a massive fro. That looks weird on me. I think that was pretty smart with your Zeus. Uh, I do have a little bit of rear armor still. <laughs> so. They're coming around the side. Back up through my armor, Commander. That thing is resilient. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't think he's. Did that get him? Nope. Still got one more wound left. He is not long for this world, though. Yes, Commander. Ah, that stupid hill. <laughs> I'm still trying to abuse the hell out of that hill. <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh, I have a hill of my own. Roger that. No, we don't take the high ground. Tiptoe, tiptoe. Alright. Can I get that? See, so if you look real close, you see... Um... I'm not sure what the different colors mean, but each one of those I think represents a weapon that's targeted on him. Or maybe a type of weapon. Yeah, let's just try that. Engaging multiple enemies. Softening up that Zeus's armor. I 
I don't think so, Agara. All right, my Jenner. The problem is once you've closed with a light mech, in order to kind of stay in range, you have to kind of fish for where you want your, where you can get your evasion pips from. Like I'd like to be targeting his left side some more, but to do that, then I have to give up a lot of evasion. Ooh, can I jump and get it? No. Hmm. The problem is he's going to get a chance to move his medium before my light, so... I don't think he's long for go. this world. I think you're talking about enemy pilots there, Striker? I guess it's just because you can't see inside the cockpit of the enemy mech, so... Now I have a I have a couple of options I know and I know there's obviously chat's gonna ask me to there's obviously the obvious option, <laughs> but there's another option too that I don't know if you, if your generator didn't have that much evasion, I might be able to pull it off, but I'm just not sure. Well, one thing about um, one thing about evasion is it doesn't apply to melee attacks. So no, I know. Okay. Yeah, I know that, but I'm trying to think of something else. I'm trying to I'm basically trying to kill two birds with one stone. Yeah, uh, focusing but. one guy down and just making sure he's dead is usually the right call. Sometimes you can risk it and try and take out two at once, but... The only reason I'm thinking of it is because of how bad the condition of your lights are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking of using the Treb and trying to back off and shoot it both with a multi-shot. I think that's cool. But it's, uh, obviously the percentages are yeah, kind of funky, so... I probably wouldn't pour too much heat into the Jenner, but it, then again, your trebuchet is also getting a little bit beat up, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna... for funds at this point, see what happens. Right on. Obviously, I have precision available, but the thing is, I can't use multi with that, so... For a second, I thought my fire starter was prone and had two evasion pips. That's because I have your trebuchet selected. <laughs> hope that some of these cook off. I mean, I'm cooking myself, that's for sure. Kind of hoping that uh, most of these are probably going to miss, but and I hope that that does enough for that. Oh! Didn't, didn't exactly get what I wanted out of that. that shot got past my armor. Come on, give me something. Nope. Yeah, I mean, obviously I could have opted to just flat out get rid of the fire starter, which, you know, probably would have been a good idea too. But I was hoping that there would have been a chance that maybe I could knock out too. Right on. Make things a little easier for me, but it was just a gamble. Uh, somebody asked me why I picked uh, Sumo and the Kentaro. Awaiting orders. And... Yeah? What can I do you for? One of the reasons why is I really like Juggernaut. That's just an awesome skill. And... He has bulwark, so if ever I get into a good firing position with my Kentaro, then I can take a shot just from standing where I'm at. Uh, but this time, I'm going to knock his trebuchet, hopefully, if I hit. Um, and this will knock him down in initiative phase, so instead of acting in the medium phase, he'll act in heavy. And then that means my Kentaro is going to get another round to go before... Uh, before he gets to act again. Now I'm gonna <laughs> limp my barely functioning fire starter over there. Move order received. Engage Oof.
chat chat's pissed off at me for my last decision. <laughs> when you get down, like down a mech, you have to you either have to start making risky plays or 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 it's just gonna snowball. Right? You can you can try and play it safe, but even if you play it safe and, and make trades all the way down, then it, there's a good chance you'll still not win. Yeah, and I still have that stalker behind me too, which is always nice. It's a problem too. Yeah, I'm hoping I move my guys far enough to where your Zeus can't come up and smack them. Yeah, and the problem with like mechs that are barely alive is they can still do things that that affect the match in a significant way, like being able to the Kentaro made you unsteady and the fire starter was the one that actually knocked you down. <laughs> he has four points in his right torso and two points in his center torso so if you hit him with anything he's toast. If your Zeus has multi fire, probably uh, an LRM. Every time I use multi fire, my, my <laughs> chat wants to come over to my house with uh, torches and pitchforks. Because I keep thinking about like, well, I, I you know maybe I could still get two mechs with, but then half the time I just I miss or I don't, I don't do enough damage. So it's always that gamble. It's like I should have obviously finished off the fire starter a long time ago when I had a chance, but yeah, hindsight's twenty twenty. What headset am I using? I have no idea. It's a piece of garbage I bought at Walmart, I think. <laughs> I'll try to find out here after the stream for you, Gamer Mech. Gosh, you have two structure on the thing. It's like. <laughs> I recommend the LRM15 at least on the fire starter because I think that well, that's that's what I've already done. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. That no, really, really should so finish him off. <laughs> unless you unless you ran over Karma's cat, then uh, I think it'll happen. Nice hits. Yay, something! Ah, nice! <laughs> when I started, I was like, chat, I hope I can at least, like, injure an arm of his. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Standing by. Alright. I think this will be enough to finish Copy off the that. trebuchet. Nope. Yep, yep, yep. see, how is my Jenner looking? I have some stuff on my left side, but I can't really give you my left side. Ah. I have no weapons. <laughs> so, I think I'll just come up and try and step on you. Coordinates received. Oh, my mech's all sparking and smoking. Mech 
destroyed. There is a small amount of heat for non-jump movement. Sprinting does a little more than that. Ready for orders. Let's see, your Zeus is hot. He really needs to cool down some, so I'm gonna try and stay out of his. Why won't you select that movement dot? Try to stay out of his range. On my way. Aye, aye. I can't really do anything, I'm full heat. <laughs> I can't use fury, guys. I have full heat. I can't, <laughs> there's nothing I can do. Unless I just... Yeah, do a called headshot on the Kentaro. <laughs> and just make sure you don't shut down. Or if you want to go for a safer play, knock out the Jenner. Yep, unsteady is just 0 to 100. If you have a, a, a lot of pi bleh, if you have a lot of piloting, you'll get a bigger unsteady threshold, so this little white indicator moves up one. Yeah, I had the had the water run into the stalker. <laughs> oh. Alley Cat asks what's the effects of Unsteady. Uh, one is you can't sprint with your unit anymore. So you have to do a normal move or a jump. And the other effect is that if your stability bar fills up after that, then you can get knocked over. Before that, there's like a little safety valve. So until you're Unsteady, it will take at least two attacks to knock you down. Two separate attacks. Oh my goodness. There you go. That one shot misses a second. <laughs> no! Commander? Whew, I didn't see my stalker was super hot. I'm gonna pull him back down off of here. Order confirmed. See what we got here. Rear armor, it is. Ow. Reporting critical hit. <laughs> A little bit of ventilation there. I can't get close enough to you. Aye, aye. I'm running out of heat myself. Is 
Tough fight, yeah. Well, I see, I told the chat, I was like, so you realize that fighting AI is different than fighting a human being. Oh, absolutely. Especially a developer who apparently <laughs> is, beat, is undefeated, right? Like, you guys realize that it's a whole different ball game. Yeah, no, this is, uh... <laughs> now, I made mistakes. I, I you know, I own, up, I, I own up to my mistakes. There's no doubt about it. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it, long. like, uh, you're at least getting something out of this, though. I, th I think you're probably learning a few things that you didn't know before. Shut down. Can't vent enough heat. Uh oh. I wasn't paying attention. That's a nice glow. <laughs> yeah, it is. That mech shut down. And now my uh now my stalker can't see you because when you're shut down you do lose sensor contacts. Yes, bigger mechs are kind of vulnerable to stability damage because they can't get those evasive pips like the smaller mechs can. Blam! Okay, not good. Nice, sir. Awaiting orders. On my way. Double time. Order. Start up, start up, start up. <laughs> That's all my guy can do, though, so he's just going to be sitting tight. Favorite assault in the game? Hmm. I don't know. That's a rough one. I've always been partial to the awesome. <laughs> the king crab's really cool. I, I love the paint schemes on the king crab. They uh, they had a broad, flat surface to to do some cool paint schemes on them. Still have a fury. I do not. Yeah, I was about to say a, a center torso rear volley would be would go well here. Good headshot. Nice. Mission successful. Good game, sir. GG. Hmm. Let's look at the after action report. Achievement unlocked rookie. Killing two mechs is decent, man. Uh, if I if I could have done it over again, I would have probably just focused on the on the lights earlier. Yeah, I was yeah. hoping for 
I picked the lance based on hoping that like I could just play a ranged game. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think when I when I re overran the Jenner to uh, during that one sprint, that kind of screwed me. Yeah, if you I needed to just if you don't have a dedicated spotter that you can keep kind of alive, then the the range game is a little bit tough. Yeah. Yeah, you know, our 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 visibility is intentionally like way shorter than tabletop to to make it a little bit more cat and mousey. I think it adds to the game, but it makes the hey set them up on a hill and just long ball the enemy for the entire match makes that strategy harder. Yeah, I mean, the, I kept there was a point where I kept seeing I was like, okay, you're low low on health. You, you did the DFA, your legs are... I kept thinking, if I can multi-strike and at least get rid of the mm -hmm. two light mechs early, but I just couldn't hit those percentages. Yeah. yeah the... And so, in the end, it killed me, where I should have probably just focus-fired way more, but I kept hoping that there'd be, a, like, a double KO. Yeah, and once you get the, the numbers advantage, you can start manipulating the initiative track a little bit more, and, uh, and if you can do that, then you can... If you control that, then I think you control the game. Yeah, I'm still not a master of, of doing the initiative phases properly, I think, with the lights. Because I think my light play... Right now, like I said, in the single player, I'm just doing heavies. And so, other than the beginning game, I, I haven't really spent too much time with it. So I think I need to learn... Obviously, you've shown that they can be amazingly effective. Yeah. So, it's just trying to figure out that uh, that initiative and how it works and how you can kind of jump in and out of situations. Cool. Well, cool, man. Thanks for playing. Yeah, no problem. It was good times. Yeah. At least I learned something <laughs> today. The chat got to uh, see some, some blood. <laughs> well, I guess you're welcome for that. <laughs> yeah, well. Cool. They, <laughs> I've either lost subscribers... Or gain some, I'm not sure, for this gladiatorial <laughs> match. Nice. I guess I'll find out. <laughs> cool. But you stream, and I would like to post your link in the chat. Sure. To, you stream on a regular basis? I, I, I just started yesterday. This was my you, second stream ever. Are you going to continue? Like, Yeah, I'd like to. I think it's kind of right, cool. All right, well, then you, should be, you guys should be checking them out. If I could make a uh, living playing video games instead of making video games, that'd be awesome. Really? <laughs> it uh let me tell you from my perspective it's 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 hit or miss <laughs> it yeah. sounds nicer than it can be it's 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 the struggle bus sometimes right on um let me get can somebody post a link to his uh channel in my chat yeah, i think it's just uh twitch slash x314 any subscriber can post a link too by the way guys okay, so i would appreciate that there it is cool man yeah, give them a follow. Uh, in terms of like expertise, you know, there it is. <laughs> cool, man. Well, thanks for thanks for playing. I'll uh, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, we can try this again sometime. Maybe I can get some more practice. <laughs> oh, you bet. Cool. Bye. All right, man. See ya. Cool guys, uh, I need a quick bio break, but I'll be right back. I'm gonna pause the stream for just a second. Ooh, thanks for subscribing there, Space Moose.